Hola! Today we're going to make a macrame necklace holder. Um, I've got a crystal here which I'm going to re-wrap. Um, so you need something to wrap. Uh, you need some string, a spare pair of hands helps but it's not necessary, um, and some tape and some scissors. So very very simple um, and once you've got the technique you can use it on a keychain holder, um, a necklace, a bracelet maybe, um, you could probably use it for anything like an anklet so yeah it's just a bit of fun really here we go so the first thing step number one um, is get three pieces of string um, at 36 inches I just chose 36 inches to start off with so one okay you get one piece of string fold it in half so that you can find the middle bit there once you've found the middle, that's going to go in the center of these two pieces of string or if you've got someone to hold your string for you, which is nice, um, then they can just, then the center just goes in the middle of their hands, where their hands are. Okay, so leave it a bit loose because we're going to feed through uh, the other pieces of string. First piece of string, fold it in half, like so, and then feed it underneath your original piece of string like that okay so it's like that and then you're going to pull that bit through so it makes a nice little knot and then do this exactly the same with your second piece of string under over and through so step number two is take off the tape and then turn your pieces of string around the two at the top here, and then the one that's not tied at the bottom, then they need to hold the two which are tied. You're gonna do the same with this piece. So you're gonna make um, a circle in the middle there. Okay, so you're gonna bring your right over the left, and then you're gonna just do a small knot. Um, so then bring that into a circle just like that and then we're going to make one more but we're going to do it with the opposite side so you're going to have your left piece of string going over your right I'm just going to come so it's like a full circle now so then you can take your tape off now done with that for a little bit um, and it should look like that and you should have your double knot up here closest to you and then you should have your other two um, the fancy knots, I can't remember their name you should have them there too and we're going to join one from this to its next door neighbour and then we're going to join oh, one from this one to the one on the right their neighbour and then one on your right is going to join the one that you just did so you're going to go right over left like you just did make a circle and then the next time you do it left over right so you've got so I've got one there and then you keep repeating the process Okay, and then the next step is that you just check that your crystal fits in. So I'm going to take this crystal here and just pop it into, like, um, this is pretty snug, which is good, but it's a bit of a weird shape, so, so it's just like that. So it fits all around the grooves. Um, and then I'm just going to put my crystal down here and keep going to the shape. And then when we get to the top, then we'll change. You can take your crystal back out again, especially if you've got a big one, then you'll need to take it out so that you, otherwise this gets a bit too fiddly. So mine is not perfect, but that's okay. Um, and I'll show you just the top. So it goes all the way around like that. At the top, then you're gonna twist, make a knot, 
twist it a little bit and then separate into three pieces of string on one side and three pieces of string on the other um, and then you're just going to do a regular like braid plait there at the end of your braid just do one very very small knot just to finish that off so that doesn't come apart um, I didn't do all of the pieces of string I just wrapped one around because there was quite a lot of it um, and I've just put it in a small knot just like that one there so then you go ahead and braid the other side too then when you get to the top you can tie that however you like in fact you don't even need to necessarily make a, um, a massive knot. Um, you can just keep it open if you're giving it as a gift so someone else can see how long they want to wear it. Um, but either way, I would recommend just cutting off the tops so it's a little bit neater. I'm just going to do a small knot. So you should be able to tug it and it shouldn't come apart. And there you go. You have a little wrapped crystal which is super neat super nice and if you get bored of the design or anything um, and you can just wear it like that um, if you get bored of the design then just change the piece of string do it again change the pattern there's heaps online you can find but um, that's just a small starter for you okay enjoy <laughs>